Got it. Um, Assalamualaikum and welcome back again. Special special cases of Fasa Babia only happen in the Jamaica. So we are going to review this a little bit. This happen when you have Nahi followed by Fa and then Mudori Mansub. Here, the fa is translated as otherwise or else or etc. For the example, we have here wala tartadu adbarikum patan kharibu khasirin. And don't turn your back, otherwise, you will return as a loser. And the second case of Special fasa babia. It is when you have other than nahi, so it can be jumlah ismia, like ism or something else, and then followed by fa, but it's still followed by mudari mansub. Then it is translated as then, as a result, or then because of that, etc. etc. For the example, Ya laitani kuntu ma'ahum fa'afuza fawzan azriman. If only I was with them, then because of that, I would have success. So this is happened in jumlah fi'aliyah. We have mabari mansub in both cases. I think we did uh, review review this so we can move to other topic but before that i think we should add to the jumlah fi'aliyah note okay So some unusual order, we have al-istighal, the map on bihi that's mentioned twice, and then special process of alpha as The tile here, yeah. I should not delay the link. Okay. Green class. Precision notes, different kind of fa. We don't have different kind of fa, or this one. Okay. So now we talk, we are going to talk about Jumla Sharpia. Okay. Yeah. Let's check 
the node. It is in a who day forty forty nine. Who day forty nine? Causality Asababia. You missed the Alif Hana. I know. Causality. Shad, Wajawa Bushad. If then, if you listen, you will benefit. Whether you saw. Forgiveness for them or not, Allah will not forgive them. Command or demand, and then listen, you will benefit. Command, Rasulullah will seek forgiveness for you. Both part, shard and talab, and um, shard of talab and the jawab are always lightest. So, Jumla. Okay, right. Clausal sentence. Oh, causal. Causal or clausal? Uh, I need to work. Actually, it's a, it's a conditional sentence, actually. Ah, conditional sentence. Yeah, you are right. I'm just reading from my notes. Okay, we are familiar with this topic, so let's try to write some notes and then we check the note, the you know, previous not to confirm. Conditional sentence means conditional sentence, it has two parts, which is. Not the if part and then the one shot the one part. Or condition, but then for the result part. Is this correct?
Yeah. Oh, uh, has to be if it cannot show the dozen so prima family. Most part has to be in the dozen question. Yeah, but there are some other words that are not that are gair jazima, so then it won't be jazim. Oh yeah. Why are jazima? Remember, uh, um, is a maybe so you there, okay? Go ahead. So, there are two kinds of uh, short sentences, right? Some have the tools which make uh, the both the shirt and the jawab jazm, and there are some tools that do not make jazm, right? Man makes it jazm, in makes it jazm, but iza doesn't make jazm. So you cannot say both parts have to be jazm. Right? Yeah, I'm thinking. I think you just write that you have to have a shirt for job shirt because the shirt has to happen then only you'll have job shirt no i think the lightest the lightest version is kind of important point in this in the shirt yeah but since you mentioned the way rajazima uh but doesn't it talking about the truth it's not talking about the shirt part and the job shirt I mean, yes, if the short part has the Laira Jazima tool, so of course it's not going to be like this. Right, so you cannot say both parts have to have Jazim. Do we have example with the Jazima? Okay. Yeah, you you are correct, but let me <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> like oh yeah, third one, Hana. Everyone know that. Sure. Okay, Laira Jazima. <clears throat> Only Ida and Lau. And Laira Jazima. Mm -hmm. Okay, like the example. Here we have. Um, Lau, not Lamu Kaitalan. Lataba. Nakum. So this is um, Madi. Yeah, because low translates into past tense, remember? No, no, no. I mean, this. Ittabana. Yeah, but na lamu is all, also translated into past tense, even though na lamu is present. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, the this thing is. Mambi, right? Yeah. So it can show the light. Also here, it is this Mambi. Okay. What my question is that, okay, the share part, because it has Raira Jazima tools, it, it is not going to be lightest. What about the Java? It is lightest as well or not? So uh, the jawab follows the the shirt, right? If the shirt 
has the lightest, then the jawab will be lightest, unless they are different sentences. Right? If the so if if it was low na'alam, then it and the okay, if the shirt has a present tense that is uh, has a tool that makes it lightest and the fail mudare in the shirt is lightest and then the jawab also has a present tense then it will make it lightest that's how you will know this is the jawab right yeah now now since since uh the sharp part is not like right. So, uh, so sister, the... sister Salma, what do you say about this? What do you think about this? Yeah, so, I know that uh, both part have to uh, lightest, right? Uh, Java, if and then part. Mm -hmm. But now I have, I can't remember that now. Either make it future, right? Either always meaning pushing yeah. the future. Uh -huh. So the two examples in the book with low are, uh, the first one has, is low kana fihima so the jawab has past tense and the second example um, also has a past tense and the third example that you have is also past tense so none of the examples that the book has has a present tense in the jawab actually. So we can look in the Quran if there is an example, but if low translates into past tense, I don't know whether the jawab can have a present tense. I don't know. Yeah, it could be maybe because um, it affected by the low. Right? Uh, but how would low if low is not uh, is غير جازمة, how will it affect no I think low does not need uh, with low uh, it is not light or like this it's the normal so the job also normal yes I think I have to look in the book, but I think it's mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. What did you say again, Mr. Saima? I was saying the same thing that if low is not a tool to make lightest, then there's no reason for it to make the jawab lightest. You know, why would it make it lightest? So, because uh, the lightest person is kind of sign of uh, oh this is Jumla Sharkia. How do you know? Oh, uh, because this is lightest, right? So now because Lao doesn't make the mobile lightest, then can we say um every sentence with Lao that has Lao is a shark? Yeah. Uh, it and says in the in a conditional sentence that uses low you will generally find the la on the first word in the jawab. The la can sometimes be omitted. Um, let's see what Ustad said. Um, So had you paid attention, you would have passed. So had you is coming from the low part of the shirt, 
and the would in you would have passed comes from the la part in the jawab but la is not compulsory you can have a jawab without the la yeah. um my question is every sentence that has la is that going to be in la shartia oh i don't know Oh, okay. Remember, start says don't say it all the time, right? I'm like okay. I'm 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 changing my question. Um, most of the time, <laughs> the sentence that start with "lau" is that going to be jumla shartia or no? <laughs> I I have no idea. Um, I I I okay. search "lau" in the Quran. There it's it's there. Thousand times because you know Tamaluna also uses lam wow yeah. yeah so yeah thousand yeah okay uh maybe we can ask Ustad is that going to be a good question to be asked or no <laughs> or that that is kind of troll question or no. I'm not sure uh, that's that's a good question. Perhaps we can look it up ourselves and see what we can find. Okay, okay. So our homework. Next question, actually, since we are talking about Lau and Iza, so Iza means when, which is answer for when, like Mafal Fihi. So how do you know that when you have either it is going to be maf'ul fihi or it is going to be jumlah syartia? How do you know? Because either doesn't make the modari lighter. Uh, it says uh, Iza does not have any grammatical impact translates into future and translates as when and describes conditions that are highly likely to happen. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I think it's something you... Like in, in first surat, first ayah of surat al-munafiqun, right? This is the example. Ida ja atal munafiquna kalu when the hypocrites come to you like doesn't this only explain to you the time no yeah but it says that uh, they will only say kalu the whole thing afterwards only when they come to you right so when they come to you then they say this ah. So that's why this is Jumla Sharfiya. Right, because the when has to happen for them to say, right? They, they only said it when, they only say that when they come. If they don't, if they had not come, they would not have said, oh, may I, that's, that's how I'm thinking. But you're right, I think it depends on, because not every Iza would be a Jumla Sharfiya. So we have to, it will depend on the context also, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, every time you have Iza, you have something else coming up because Iza is a fragment. You have to finish your sentence. So something supposed to coming up after the Iza. So if that's the case, you can like always, you, you, most of the time you will see the Iza as the Jumla Shartia, which is weird. Like either will copy her same on her See, there there are something coming after either and the mm -hmm. mood of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, your argument makes sense. This is affecting the translation and how we see inside the ayah, right? So I, yep. I have been um, hold this question for a while. 
ten. So maybe we can get some answer someday, inshallah. Okay, so I have to change this uh, both part. I don't think grammatically we are there yet that we know everything. So both part has to be in the jasm version, except if that something like that. Uh, not necessarily. If if the if the uh, after part is jumla ismiya or after part is past tense, then no, right? No. Um, okay, what do you say, Sister Salma? Yeah, it generally is both part have to judge them, but yeah, is the after this jumla ismiya or past tense, then that should be. Oh. Yeah, generally, usually is both part of jazam, but if past tense, then it's not mentioned the jazam part, right? Then we I think, only. I'm sorry. I think yeah. what you should do is uh, instead of writing that first, you should write that uh, there are two different kinds, two different sets of tools for the conditional sentences. There are some tools that make it uh, jazima, some tools don't make it jazima. And when there are sentences in which the tool for the Adavati shirt for jazima is used, then if uh, both the shirt and the jawab shirt fails are mudare, then they will both be lightest. If there is a different structure, if it's a uh, different a uh, sentence like ismia versus jumla ismia versus failia or uh, fail madi versus modare then of course it won't impact it can we yes, you have good notes over here i think we can just use these can you say again about uh, different form you want me to say all that again <laughs> i don't even know what no, i no, said no. the no the different form if the shirt jumla ismia and the jawab jumla filia then then what what happened okay so this there's two kinds Okay, so in Jumla Shartiya, there's two parts, right? The shirt and the jawab. And then there are some Jumla uh, Shartiya in which uh, the Adavate shirt are jazima, and then there are some in which Adavate shirt are not uh, gair jazima. Uh, okay, so I think we. I, I got that part, but the part that I am asking is that you said if you have Jumla Ismiya, as the shirt and then no i said if jumla ismia is the jawab oh uh, yeah what oh, then it won't is... then mm -hmm. it won't be a uh, jazima right because it does not affect it ah okay so basically the same thing all right yeah uh, yeah the thing is um the thing is what the example here? Can we have some example? In Taksar. In Taksaru? This one should be in Taksar. Right? In Taksar. Oh, in Taksaru. Oh, I missed the wow. All right. And I'll leave. In Taksaru. You can use that. Okay. 
Ankum. So in is uh, ada watu jazima. That's why taksaru is lightest because affected by in. That's understandable. But here the the jawab shot is in jumlah ismiya version. It cannot show that it is lightest, but actually. It is lightest because this is Jawa Bushar. So we are going to say Fi Mahalli Jazm. It's still lightest, but only cannot show it. How about that? So basically, both parts should be lightest, but uh, one part maybe or both parts cannot show the lightest form. That's why we have the mahalli, but it's still lightest. That's why um, I'm saying that both parts has to be in jazm version, except if it has gaira jazima tools. Sister Hanna, it's not, it's takfuru. Yeah, you're correct. Takfuru. Thank you. And you're right, it is a fi mahali jazam. It's not showing its jazam thing. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, Sister Sabiha? Ah, uh, yes. You agree with us? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I will have oh. to check. Uh, if you are saying it, it must be right. Okay, do you want uh, to repeat again the explanation or? No, it's okay. Are you okay? Okay, Sister Salma, do you agree? Yeah, yeah, I see. I'm agree, yeah. Okay. So, both parts has to be in the version and start. If it, um, what to say? If it started. Ada tu Rajazima. Oh, if the shard has Ada tu Rajazima. So, uh, the book says. Um, jazima tools that make both parts of the conditional sentence majzum given that they both contain a fail mudare. Meaning, meaning what you had just said that since for in Allah ankum does not have a fail mudare, it's not showing its uh majzoom status but if there was a fail mudari then it will be majzoom uh, okay okay uh, now it has two parts shot and the abu shot both parts has to be in jazzum version except if the shot has other to vaira jazima now we are talking we are going to talk about other other one to shot right Mm -hmm. 
this tool of sharp to kinds of Uh, uh, the two kind of other uh, what is sharp other uh, what to what <laughs> that make lightest what it called tools yeah, that yeah. make it lightest or much zoom yeah You have three. Um, you have in, then you have man, and you have ma, and you have aina ma. Oh, aina ma. Um, yeah. and maybe aina. I don't know. I've written a, no, no, no. Sorry, aina ma. Okay. In Full jazima here. Jazima and then ma or man. Okay, you don't have to write her full jazima. Ma and man and then in 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 nama. In, in nama, he said? No, I nama. Oh, I nama. I'm yeah. trying to say the book has these if start told us about any others. Ainama? In ma man Ainama. Ainama means uh, wherever. Oh, I don't have Ain. Wherever? Yeah, it is wherever. Oh, then we can add whenever. Kullama. Cool 